University in sub-zero weather. This place is about 10 miles northwest of the city of Philadelphia and it has as its motto, truth, unity and charity. It was here that famous Irishmen like Ron Delaney came and John Hartnett and Donald Walsh and it's back to here that Eamon Coughlin has come having thrown up his job in Ireland. From here he won his first race and from here tonight he will be running his second race. Um, I feel quite confident about tonight. I think if somebody takes it out the first three quarters in about 2.58, we'll see a, a sub four minute mile by quite a few seconds. While at home training, I had nothing to gauge myself on, but then as soon as I got back to the, sta the States, for some reason, the atmosphere around the Villanova area just put that psych back into me, and I felt I was in top shape again. I went down to Washington, D.C., and I got into the race, and I felt the same as I did before that I was going to win, no one was going to beat me here, and I just ran the race. And I think it was the whole environment around the Villanova area where people just are out to win, to improve themselves, to better themselves, which was built into me for the four years I was here that I felt it coming back to me again. This is what it was like coming back. It was just like coming home. Um, I really love it around this area. It's, it's really beautiful and it's so relaxing, and you just want to feel part of it. Society around here is one of a high living and um, because I was living here for four years I felt I was part of that high living and high thinking and always wanting to succeed and when I got back to it I felt this is, this is for me, this is what I want to do. Being married to an athlete means in a sense being married to athletics. Yvonne Coughlin in Philadelphia in January. I had an interest in it because my sister ran and I met Eamon through athletics that way. Do you know Eamon has athletics as his life? Everybody else is something different, but we enjoy it, you know, we have a good time and I enjoy athletics. I enjoy going around with Eamon to races and it's a bit nerve-wracking time, but it's, you know. Well, while I was here, it was under completely different circumstances altogether. At home now, I'm working, well, I was working, I'm married and I'm trying to fend for a living. Over here, I had four years of studying to do. I used to get up at 8.30 in the morning, I used to get out and run, I'd come back and eat breakfast, go to class for a few hours, in the afternoon I'd run again, and at night time I would study. An athletic scholarship at Villanova University entails more than just running, President Father Driscoll. Eamon Coughlin is representative of the high type of person, of athlete, uh, that uh, Villanova is proud to have represent its name. Of the association with Ireland goes back a long way here at Villanova. Actually, our province was founded by the Irish Augustinian Fathers in, in 1796. Uh, Villanova was founded by Irish Augustinians. And uh, in recent years, particularly uh, immediately after the uh, World War II, uh, a number of Irish athletes have uh, graced the campus here, starting perhaps with Ron Delaney. Uh, we have always been proud of this association. We have always been proud of the kind of person that uh, uh, came to Villanova, represented them in the track and field and the other sports. Villanova has been very careful over the years, particularly in recent years, I mean now in the last 20 or 25, in that we have insisted in our recruitment of athletes and our awarding of scholarships that the athletes themselves be capable of maintaining their academic standing and progress throughout their uh, four years of college. And you will so, apply to them the same criteria of academic success as you would to a person who was n a non-athletic scholarship uh, winner. Oh, absolutely. And uh, where students, ac athletic uh, scholarship students, uh, do encounter difficulty, as all students do, uh, we make special efforts to uh, give them the tutoring, the assistance that they need. Uh, however, should they fall short of uh, the academic requirements for their given year, they then become ineligible to play. So the coaches are all very well aware of the fact, and this is particularly true of uh, Jumbo Elliott, uh, whom you know so well, uh, that it is not to the athletic program's interest to recruit a student who will not be able to maintain his academic standing throughout his college career. We expect every athlete to measure up academically, we expect every athlete to graduate with a degree that we award with pride. And so, uh, in that sense, the uh, athletic scholarship affords a student the opportunity 
of receiving a Villanova education which is comparable to that uh, given to everyone else. There are no double standards as it applies to our athletes. Uh, I like to feel that every athlete I have, they're not all the same. Uh, some has to be kissed and some kicked a wee bit, you know, prompted. And uh, uh, well, we have a, a, a real good setup, I feel, for uh, developing athletes. We have a cross-country season. It isn't too quite, ext it is an extensive, uh, uh, then we go into indoor running and then outdoor running. I've always uh, figured that if you're going to tell them something, why well, tell them something constructive because you could every athlete come up with different theories, what you have to do, what you expect. And uh, I feel that uh, the workouts that we have down there, we try to keep them as informal as friendly because uh, track isn't a rah-rah uh, a sport and, and I feel that they do have a lot of uh, good humor down there. I try to keep them uh, as happy as I possibly can and still work them the way that I feel that they should be worked. I knew that if Eamon come over here, uh, I knew he'd be in shape because he did the same thing uh, last year and the year before he come over with about a three or four days practice on the boards. Uh, not an extensive workout before the big race and won, and I felt that he would. And I had all, all the confidence in him, and as these meets progress, why the competition that he will in, uh, encounter, I guarantee you that he'll have a, a real test at that uh, mile. The Spectrum, Philadelphia, a freezing Friday night. God, there, there's Frank. Huh? Got a beer. I see you want to get some shoe polish and put on so you can see it. Jumbo is a very, very hard person to get to know. If you ask anybody what sort of a man is Jumbo Elliott, they're going to think, think, think before they're going to come up with some sort of an answer. He's a very, very difficult man to get to know, but he's, 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 a, he's a lovely man. He's a great person altogether. IC4A MCA champion, Irish Athlete of the Year, Eamon Coughlin of Ireland. Number 78, here we go, the big mile invitation. Watch the clock. 10,000 people eager to see if Coughlin can beat Marty LaCroix and Byron Dice. On your marks, set. Byron Dice takes the lead. I think that Eamon has uh, his goal set on the, the next uh, Olympics in Russia in the 5,000 meters, and I think he has a very, very good chance of winning it. Uh, he has good 1,500-meter uh, background now, and he would like to, and will run uh, the indoor circuit. While I'm here, I've got 20 fellows who are world-class athletes who are out there training and who want to get to the top. Now, while I'm living with these, it's just bound to happen that I'm going to follow them. You know, if you, if you can't beat them, join them. So I'm joining them and I'm, it's turning out that I'm beating them too. But just look at Coughlin go, and Coughlin takes the quarry, and there he comes onto the bend, looking full of strength and all running at this stage. Eamon Coughlin now really zipping down the straightaway. The quarry looks as if he's finished. Byron Dice won't do it. Young Page coming up in fourth place, but an impressive run here from Coughlin. And here he goes, easing in across the tape. And so Eamon Coughlin is the winner. The quarry second, Dice third, Page fourth, and Melly fifth, and a fine win there for Eamon Coughlin. <laughs>